Orange Smoky Eye with these two new products. Before I get started, I'm going in with the Garnier Micellar Water and I'm just using a makeup wipe and I'm just rubbing off the excess product that I have on my face. All I popped on this morning for my work was the Airy Day Mineral Mousse, so it's my sunscreen. So I just pop that on and I'm just going to take that off before I begin. I won't really rub that mascara off, I'll leave that residual on just to show you this look. I have a couple of new products today. This is the Yves Saint Laurent Pure Shots and it really is that, it's a pure shot of hydration. So I just felt like my face needed a bit of moisturizer, so I popped that on. Now I'm also going to use my eye cream and I'm using the Youngblood Eye Cream, this is the Eye Impact Cream, just massaging it under my eyes and over my eyes. And I always put the excess on my lips. This is the Youngblood Mineral um, Primer. Now in between these products, make sure you allow a little bit of time so they don't mix in, okay? So just pressing that onto my face before I start. Two new products from Revlon. This is the Revlon Color Stay. Now it's a full coverage foundation. The one that I've got is called th is number 310 and it's matte and it's a warm golden color. Now it also contains SPF, but look at the coverage. That was just a small amount and I've just placed that on and it really has gone quite far. So I'm just blending this in with one of my Fernando Hervas uh, makeup brushes. This is the Foundation Me brush. I'm making sure I get along my jawline there and down my neck, over my ears, and really just buffing that in, trying to keep it so it's nice and flawless looking. I'm still amazed just how far this product is going. So I will go um, over my eyes as well. I'll use it as a bit of a primer for my eyelids, up and underneath, and I will clean up later underneath the eye line. So I'll show you in a minute exactly how much is left over. There is so much left over. I put one small sort of pump onto my hand and look at that, still heaps left over. So I thought I'd go down my decolletage just to cover some of that um, broken capillaries, a bit of redness there. This is the Saint Renee's. This is a lip and cheek tint. Now I'm loving using it to warm up my face. Now the shade, this is called Castellon. It is beautiful. So perfect sort of I wouldn't say contour, I mean it is contouring, but this is more like giving your face that little bit of warmth, a little bit of depth, without really carving out too much of a contour. Now I did get a little bit into my hairline there as you can see, and I really need to buff that out. So as you can see, I've just done this huge number three on either side of my face, and I find this is the easiest way to create a little bit of definition in your face, but also bring in that warmth, that nice sun-kissed glow, and just give yourself a little bit of tone as well. So just buffing it in. Once again, got it caught in my hair. Now I'm going to use this lip and, chip, lip and cheek tint um, on my lips as well. And I'm also going to place a little bit on my cheeks. So this instantly gives the face a bit of color and now I'm ready to start on the eyeshadows. Now, the eyeshadow palette, palette is called Maverick. Now, it is gorgeous. Now, I'm just cleaning off my brush. This color was way more pigmented than I ever thought it would be. So we are going right into a smoky eye. I was going to go for something a little softer than this. But now that we're here, let's just go with it. So same on the other side, just buffing it into the outer corner up onto the brow bone and through the crease. And I'm bringing it all the way through to the inner corner of the eye and just really blending that out with that brush. So it is quite a highly pigmented color and I'm running it down underneath the eye as well. So we've really gone straight in for a massive pop of drama. Now this is even darker, so here we go. This is going to be my orange smoky eye. So we're placing this really close to that lash line all over the ball of the lid. I feel this is actually really looking great with my shirt. So everything is, um, what's the word? Everything's matching very well. So just placing that all the way along the um, lash line on the ball of that mobile lid there and right up to the crease. Now what I'm gonna do is you can see there's a little bit of a gap there where the two colors meet and I don't like it. So I've just got a smaller, more detailed fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that through with a little bit of that first product, just to sort of make sure that there's no sort of um, gap between the two shades. It looks so much better. I'm running that darker shade under the bottom three quarters of my eye lash line as well, because I feel like, why not? We've gone this far. 
This is a, a very pale peachy tone and I thought I'd just buff that on the outer edge of this um, look right on my brow bone to really soften it because I feel like we've gone in quite hard with these bright colors and I need to make it um, diffuse a little bit more on the outer edge. This is a Charlotte Tilbury, this is the Pillow Talk um, eyeliner. Now while I was doing this and you can see it looks a bit scratchy, make sure you give them a good sharpen before you try and pop it into your tight line at the top. It will make it a lot easier. These are great, they, the payoff is amazing and they just don't move at all. So I know when I take this makeup off, I reckon I will still have eyeliner on. Swiping my lashes through with um, some of the Mineral Mascara, the Youngblood Mineral Mascara in Blackout. I'm just doing the top and the bottom. Really just making sure I get some of those lashes. Now, my brows need a bit of a comb through. I'm sort of cheating. This is the Emco Beauty Brow Fill and Set. And I'm just using the set and sweeping that through and then combing it through again with a clean spoolie brush. This is just a really easy and quick way of doing my brows. The um, shade we have is called, I think it's light medium, I'll have to check that. And then just running through with the spoolie. I felt my cheeks were a bit dark and I really wanted to lighten up this look. So I'm using one of the um, Mecca sticks, uh, Mecca Mac sticks. This one is called, I'll find you the shade, Sorbet. Just to lighten that up a little bit. Going back in with the same foundation, the Colorstay Full Coverage, and just really cleaning up under the eyes there. Just a small amount, just to sharpen that outer corner and just really make sure that the eyeshadow is on the eyes and not on my cheeks there. This is the translucent powder and it's the loose one. It's a high definition powder by Youngblood and it is beautiful. As you can see, it is just softening everything, absorbing any excess oil, and it really just makes a difference. It's even chiseling in my face there a little bit, lifting that cheekbone. It is perfect. So I'm just placing that anywhere where I need a little bit of highlight, but also to set those areas of the makeup and reduce the shine. I hope you like this look.